Um, would you like to tell us more about what that space embodies, all of the interpretations that you've put placed into that space for the audience to uh, see? So, um, so for Interchange, Melanie and I became interested in these kinds of non-places, almost these in-between outskirts of cities, um, places where there is a kind of conflict between people living in so-called communities or not communities, and traffic patterns that kind of just go right through them. Um, and we were driving around and we came upon this very, very densely concentrated area of, of Montreal called Ville Saint-Pierre. Uh, and it's where the Tur parts of the on-ramps, or I don't know, it's not exactly the Turcotte, but if there's a, that three level uh, where trucks are going this way, they're coming this way, and it, and it just felt you know, very striking. Um, so we decided then and there that we would uh, explore that space, that neighborhood. Um, we wanted to do so, uh, we set up a few rules for ourselves. One was that everything would be filmed uh, on a tripod from more or less from one angle each. So we were interested in a sense of deep space, deep focus. So um, uh, an image where the foreground, middle ground, and background are all in a kind of balance, and then we would let the images exist on screen long enough for the viewer to move their t attention around the frame. And in so doing, our hope was that the viewer would kind of inhabit those spaces rather than our treating those images like a kind of B-roll where um, we would use an image like that and move off it very quickly to kind of get to the real story. We wanted to put that kind of, uh, that kind of imagery uh, sort of at the center of, of our examination of this. About space. building that rapport with uh, your subjects, what was that like? And the second question is about the sound design, specifically um, whether what, if that was part of your design ahead of time. In terms of rapport with uh, the subjects, well, we both come from a photography background, and we very much approached it as though it were a photography project. It's almost like a collection of moving stills. So we just very simply went up to people and asked them if they wouldn't mind uh, posing for a video portrait. And amazingly, almost everyone said yes. There was only one person who said no, and he kind of looked like he'd just, just gotten out of jail. <laughs> so he maybe had a little something to hide. But um, everyone wanted to be represented, which I thought was really interesting. Um, they wanted their faces to be out there and be represented. Um, and so most of them were filmed exactly where we found them, if not within like 10 feet. And we would just ask them to kind of hold still as though it was a, a photograph, but that it would take time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was actually a really nice kind of exchange and it's a nice way to get to know people. And a lot of people were curious because they would see us in those areas a lot. So a lot of people would come up to us and ask us about the project. So it was a nice way to engage. And uh, in terms of the sound design, that became kind of, we did a lot of, some of it is natural sign. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of it we did ourselves, a lot of the construction. A lot of the areas that we filmed in are, a lot of the cars are being rerouted through those uh, areas because of the Turcotte interchange. Um, so that's why there is so much like construction and cars where there kind of shouldn't be or more kind of like dense kind of traffic patterns. But we, we, we spent a lot of time <laughs> reconstructing a lot of the sound. Yeah, yeah it, it, we, we found that by almost being able to sculpt the sound and have a, a high level of control, it, it, it gave a peculiar clarity to the images. So there's, there's just something that happens about a bird that flies by in the distance that you might not see if you couldn't, if you, you know, it's just, small. You, if you bring that bird sound up just enough in the mix, it's a, it acts as a kind of pointing and it actually makes you notice. And we, we became very interested in that way, how the soundtrack could be sort of this densely layered thing, but that we could uh, exert a certain amount of control over and have it inform the image. So. Mm -hmm. 